in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Welcome once again, my dear brothers and sisters, to this Holy Mass on Tuesday of the third week of Easter from St. Amos Church here in Pearl River. I say welcome even though I know and am quite aware of the fact that by the time you are able to see this Mass, it will already be over. But I am hopeful that in some way our mutual participation in this Mass is more than just a thought, more than just a consolation, that it is in some way a reality, that our own desire to be in the close proximity of the Lord truly brings us all even though we see this at a different time, to this Mass all together. So as we begin, let us ask our Lord for His grace and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, and therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the last of life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. O God, who opened wide the gates of heavenly kingdom to those reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, pour out on your servants an increase of the grace you have bestowed, that having been purged of all sins, they may lack nothing that in your kindness you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever. And ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Stephen said to the people, the elders and the scribes, You stiff necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always oppose the Holy Spirit. You are just like your ancestors. Which of the prophets did your ancestors not persecute? They put to death those who foretold the coming of the Righteous One, whose betrayers and murderers you have now become. You received the law as transmitted by angels, but you did not observe it. When they heard this, they were infuriated, and they ground their teeth at him. But Stephen, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked up intently to heaven, and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And Stephen said, Behold, I see the heavens opened, and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. But they cried out in a loud voice, covered their ears, and rushed upon him together. They threw him out of the city and began to stone him. The witnesses laid down their cloaks at the feet of a young man named Saul. And as they were stoning Stephen, he called out, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell to his knees and cried out in a loud voice, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. And when he said this, he fell asleep. Now Saul was consenting to his execution. The word of the Lord. Into your hands, O Lord, I command my spirit. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. You are my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, you will lead me and guide me. Into your hands, O Lord, I command my spirit. Into your hands, I command my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. My trust is in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad of your mercy. Into your hands, O Lord, 
I command my spirit. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your kindness. You hide me in the shelter of your presence from the plottings of men. Into your hands, O Lord, I command my spirit. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the bread of life, says the Lord. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The crowd said to Jesus, What sign can you do that we may see and believe in you? What can you do? Our ancestors ate manna in the desert, as it is written, He gave them bread from heaven to eat. So Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave the, gave the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. And so they said to Jesus, Sir, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. This is the Gospel of the Lord. As I read these words, I'm really taken aback with the fact of what Jesus promises us when he says, I am the bread of life, and whoever comes to me will never hunger, whoever believes in me will never thirst. And yet it seems that in these days, the hunger grows ever, ever, ever greater each and every day. Hunger for being here, hunger for filling these pews, hunger on the part of you who take part in watching these videos and participating in these masses to actually step through and be able to come once again into the full uh, participation in the mass the hunger to be once again receiving from this table and on that note i have been receiving sometimes messages or emails from many of our parishioners who are able to see these videos and the words that they express are the words of appreciation and gratitude. I would like to share back with you some of that feedback. I really don't know how or in what way these masses touch you. Uh, I do not have ability to see you. It is kind of a one-way communication almost. But I'm hopeful that in many ways it is not merely the presence or the possibility of the video, but the real presence of the one who comes to us through it in his words and in this sacrament, even though not completely, that it is his presence that gives so many of us a positive and a good feeling at being a part of the Mass, even though we are separated, even though you are at your homes and I'm here at the church. Jesus said to us always, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger. Whoever believes in me will never thirst. For my own sake and for the sake of all of us, I hope these words really inspire us, motivate us, move us, remain with us and lead us each and every day. Blessed are you, O God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual food. 
and blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink, and blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you for the humble and contrite hearts. And let us pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We receive, O Lord, we pray these offerings of your church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that a gift we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord, and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim the Lord. But in this time of the whole, to Lord you and more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever, and therefore overcome with paschal joy. Every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they all acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. And make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time when he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. Giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat all it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
through him and with him and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, the glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And let us now praise our Savior, commanded us, our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. We graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. And may the receiving of your body and blood of Jesus Christ not bring me to the judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter in my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, Lord, and grant, we pray, that those who are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. And as is customary on Tuesday, we will now do our devotion to St. Jude. Come, let us pray to St. Jude, the Apostle of Jesus, and through him, let us pray to God. St. Jude, servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, you have taught us to love God by your faithful witness as an Apostle of Jesus. You are a true disciple whom the Master sets over his household. You are one of the twelve pillars of faith upon which Jesus founded his church. You are a holy member of the College of Apostles whose faith we profess today. 
And because of your faith in Jesus Christ, you live with him in his kingdom forever. Because of your love for his church, you intercede with Jesus in our behalf, especially in our most serious needs. Holy Apostle St. Jude, with confidence, we now call upon you. Hear our petitions, which we place before the Father in your name. Pray that God will answer them to his glory and our salvation. We pray that a church will ever remain the true servant of Jesus in her proclamation of the apostolic faith. We pray that our society may be converted to Christ by our example of faith. We pray that we may receive the graces which we truly need. We pray that we, by our good works and penance, may one day be joined to the Church in Heaven to sing praise to God forever. And we pray to you, St. Jude, to intercede for us in all our needs, spiritual and temporal. And we pray with you these words taken from your letter to Christians. Now to the one who can keep you from falling and set you in the presence of his glory, jubilant and above reproach, to the only God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, might and authority, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, before all time, now and forevermore. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And once again, I wish and pray for you to have a good, blessed, and a safe day. God bless you.